We're going to show you how Vigilant Software's DPIA tool makes it easy to conduct a data protection impact assessment, helping you speed up the process of complying with Article 35 of the GDPR. Creating an Asset Inventory First, we'll create an inventory of our data assets that can be affected by specific risks. This can be done by clicking the Assets tile on the dashboard. Here, you can bulk upload assets using the Excel template or manually enter the data if required. Describing a data process now you can describe the data process, enter the details of the process, including the scope, controller and processor details, categories of data processed and any security measures that are in place to protect your personal data. Screening questions. Screening questions help you determine whether a DPIA is needed. This will help you determine whether a full risk assessment on the process is needed or not. Consultation details. Here, you can quickly record the advice and views of interested parties. Principal questionnaire. Now follow the prompts to assess the necessity and the proportionality of a data processing activity. Impact Assessment. Now that you've described the processes, you are ready to contact a DPIA. Adjust the settings. First, we're going to customise our risk assessment settings. We're going to change the likelihood and impact scales of the risks by simply dragging the slider. You can also edit the label describing the scales and add additional context. Risk Acceptance Criteria Easily configure your Risk Acceptance Criteria by editing the squares in the grid. Risk Assessment Wizard Now you are ready to follow the step-by-step -step wizard to conduct an impact assessment. Say goodbye to complex spreadsheets and hello to error-free and hassle-free risk assessments. Creating a risk. To get started, simply select an asset or define a scenario. Threats and vulnerabilities. With the DPIA tool, there's no need to come up with a list of risks yourself. The software has done it all for you. Quickly find and select the relevant risks from the predefined lists of threats and vulnerabilities. Assessing the initial risk. Specify the likelihood and impact of a risk on the confidentiality, integrity and availability of each asset or groups of assets and data subjects. Risk response. Now that you have evaluated the risk, select one of four risk responses and provide extra details if needed. Mitigating measures. Effortlessly select measures to manage your risks from predefined lists of controls. Reviewing the DPIA. Finally, you're ready to review or edit the residual risk. Now that you're done, you can quickly review and finalize the DPIA to decide whether the data processing can go ahead or not. DPIA report. At a click, produce a DPIA report that details the entire process, the outcomes of a risk assessment and whether it has been signed off or not. Hey presto! Now you have a robust data protection impact assessment that will help you manage your privacy risks and fast track compliance with the GDPR.